COVID-19 and its fallout on time management. Coronavirus and the consequent continuous lockdown has made it necessary to bring in many changes in our lives. One of the most important changes refers to our ability to manage our time. Time's role in life can never be exaggerated because its best resource that human ever had. How time is leveraged to produce most significant results is best understood by studying the lives of people like who have risen from the bottom layer of the society to the highest spots in their respective fields. Steve Jobs, Warren Buffett, Dhirubhai Ambani are just a few examples. Yet, our challenge today is completely different. Those great men did not face a contagious little enemy. They never faced a lockdown, coronavirus lockdown. Even those who have been following an efficient time management routine must be overwhelmed with the onslaught of the most unexpected enemy, COVID-19. In view of the big change in our routine and in view of the fact that life may not return to the normal, to the same normal that we are used to, now it is necessary to revisit our time management plan even when it was early, working very well earlier. There are some suggestions. These suggestions are divided into three parts. Part one, better time management techniques in COVID-19 times. Part number two, how to remove the time wasters from our lives. Part number three, what new skills we can learn or hone our existing skills in this available time. Better time management techniques, that is part one. The first point which comes and which is recommended in the part is your ability to say no. Here is how you can effectively say no whenever you don't want to say yes. The reason for this is that whenever you say yes, you tend to lose a lot of time. And how do you say no? Don't beat about the bush or offer weak excuses or explanations. Politely just say no, it's not possible in the present circumstances. Number two, be courteous, even cordial, but assertive. If you have decided not to put yourself into difficulty because of others, it will be easier done. Number three, people who exploit others play tactics. Beware of these and don't allow these to upset your decision or even weaken your resolve. Number four. Set boundaries for people who always take your advantage or exploit your innocent friendliness. Number five, be selfish. It is not wise to think that if you say no, the other person will feel that you are selfish. Everyone is selfish and so should you be. Number two, if you have been late for anything as a matter of routine, as a matter of habit, then figure out why. When you ask yourself the reason why, you will find the answer. Either you are lazy, or you are casual, or you are 
over up optimistic about the time correct your perspective it's necessary number 2 figure out how long things really take you you will find that invariably you think that you can finish a task in less time but in practice it takes more next imagine how people feel when they have to wait for meeting you they might have kept some other important work behind simply because they want to meet you and that if you don't meet if you go late their time would be totally wasted so the point number 2 is never be late you don't waste your time you don't waste the other person's time point number 3 have a clock in front of you where you are always looking at the clock either in the office or at home clock is visible a very close friend of mine had a clock in every room including bathrooms and the kitchen the hands of the clock will push you to be in time four when carrying out your daily tasks or your weekly job set reminders set reminders or alerts on your clock or mobile let it buzz 15 minutes before the deadline time now next point is distractions distractions can be a big problem when at home you have your family members who can easily cause interruption you have tv mm-hmm. you have music coffee table books etc besides you may receive unexpected calls from your friends and relatives except that distractions will be there work out your priorities and review your task list through the throughout the day maybe many times choose a proper designated area more importantly set deadlines for the task and ensure that these are met minimize use of smartphone set a message not able to take calls but call them back this way you will know how to deal with them in very little time next point 6 keep the four quadrants of stephen covey always fresh in your mind and what are these four quadrants number 1 urgent and important Just classify the tasks which are urgent and important they can't wait number 2 important but not urgent these are the tasks like you go for a morning walk you take good meals timely these are important but they are not urgent next number 3 urgent but not important somebody has come some call has come which is urgent either you take or you don't take but if they are not important they are not important number 4 quadrant number 4 is neither urgent nor important anyone anyone who is doing serious job has absolutely no business to attend to this quadrant you can always decide how much time to spend for handling anything if you keep these quadrants always in your mind Yes, here is another point number seven. Cut out when you need to. At times, it's essential that you should be all alone, all by yourself. This will be possible if you are able to cut off and be alone, even if you have to lock yourself in a room, because certain serious tasks need your undivided attention, which you must give. now we talk about the time wasters time wasters how we should deal with how we should deal with them in the covid 19 lockout we have to take special 
note of these time wasters. Everyone is afflicted to some extent due to the eating away of chunk of time by these time wasters. A big chunk one needs to identify because the extent of damage which these time wasters can do to your time plans depend on the different individuals and their attitudes. Some common time wasters are for your information, fear of criticism by people around you. Then, if you have a habit of complaining or thinking as if you are a victim, that is also a time waster. It could be done wisely by not thinking about it. Uselessly wasting your time, valuable time, is not good at all. The more significant time waster that you need to be really afraid of is your unfinished tasks. When your tasks are unfinished, they keep on troubling you. This weighs heavy on your mind and keep on making you feel guilty. Thereafter, to be sure that you must finish every task that you begin. Think twice before starting a task, before starting something new. But once you have taken a decision and having take, taken the first step, it's your duty to complete, to complete the task in the time allotted. Otherwise, you will have problems. Further, if you have a tendency to please everyone, that is also a big time waster. While one should always be courteous and polite to everyone, there is no need to go out of the way to please everyone. Besides, you should never compare yourself with anyone else. If you do that, that also is a habit of wasting time which should be avoided under any circumstances. Last but not the least, if you try to be a perfectionist, that is another way of wasting your time. So do your best, follow excellence, but it is wasteful to be a perfectionist in every little thing. But the most important thing is that you should never make the same mistakes again. Making mistakes is normal, but repeating the same mistake is sheer waste of time which must be avoided. Now we are talking about part 3. What skills we can learn in this COVID-19 lockdown time. COVID lockdown has created a big difference in the way we use our time. Our time at home gives us an opportunity to gainfully utilize the same to learn some new skills. Fortunately, there are so many online courses in different fields of life. We have hobby courses. We can learn music or own our dancing skills. Very effective yoga courses are also available in plenty. If you are a foodie, you can try your hand on preparing some nice, delicious dishes to please yourself and to please your family. Likewise, if you want to learn drawing, sketching or painting, however, if you are looking to advance your career, you can join courses on leadership, you can join courses on communication skills, personality development, or your special subject, whether it is sales or human resource management or talent hunting. In short, you have great opportunities and without waiting for anything, for any decision, you should decide and embark upon your desired journey 
to hone your skills or to develop new skills is because these are going to help you in your career, in your society, in your stature, in your self-esteem as well.